This is 2016. Now, I've seen a lot of awesome movies this year from independent filmmakers. And I have to honestly say, they've been whooping a lot of ass. And we're about to talk about that right now. The Windmill Massacre, a.k.a. The Windmill. You can, you can shift shape it either way, but it's the same movie. Oh, it's directed by Nick Jongerish, written by Nick Jongerish, Chris W. Mitchell, and Susie Quinn. I really enjoyed this movie, and this was another movie that scared you far beyond these jump scares. Like, the movie doesn't have that type of tone to it. Like, it just scares you on a more deeper and personal level. But the movie starts off with a young lady named Jennifer. You know, she's babysitting these kids. And the father comes in the room, so he calls her out the room because he found out that her name, he just found out her name was Jennifer on her, uh, what was it, her passport? Yes. And she went by a different name. So he threatened to call the cops on her. She she, she leaves out of the house. She hit the dad, didn't she? No. no yeah, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. She he, hit, he her. Her, she so hit she with her. She um, hit her with a base. Yeah. <laughs> so she dodges out the house. She gets out the house. He calls the cop on her. And that's when you see, like, because there's so many different characters. That's when you see, um, you see Nicholas, you know, he's at this like art place and, you know, he's looking at all these arts until he's just started this one particular art that has a person head split up and their body split down and it freaked him out so bad he got the hell up out of there. Like you just knew something was wrong with this man. And then it's, and it's like a lot of other characters, like you got, you got Nicholas, Jennifer, Douglas, Jackson, Ruby, Kurt, Takenshi, Takeshi. Takashi and Abe, I think. Somebody named Abe. I think that was the driver. Mm -hmm. Whatever. So all of these people ended up getting on this uh what was like a it was like a cruise. A tour. A tour. Yes. A tour type thing. You know, like when, when tourists come to certain places or to certain cities, you know, they in Holland, so they went on a, a more like a tourist ride. And then the ride ended up breaking down in this most scary, freakiest area <laughs> that you do not want to be stuck in. So they get there, the bus breaks down. This one guy, this this one army dude, like, you definitely can tell that something's wrong with him because, you know, he started, like, kind of, like, when certain things happened, it just reminds him back when he fought the war. He was a mercenary. And it was just crazy. Like, it was him and Jennifer. They went out in the woods, in the woods area. And then what was crazy is that he ended up seeing this boot. I really not try to spoil this movie. This movie is really good. You see this boot, but this boot remind him of something that he did really messed up. But before I get any further, this movie, let's get this movie rated, shall we? Give this movie two thumbs up and a big ass smiley face. Oh yeah. Hey guys, this movie is really good. It really surprised me. I been knew the movie was going to be good because when you go online, you look up the trailer. The trailer, you know, make it seem like this. It give you that that slasher type situation. But when you get into the movie, the movie goes a little far beyond just a slashing situation. The movie reminds you of Jeepers Creepers. And if you take M. Night Shyamalan's The Devil and put it in this movie, I think it was called Devil. It wasn't The Devil, but it was Devil. You smash those two together, you got a movie on your hands. This movie creeped me out on a whole nother level, on a psychological, spiritual level, where the movie made you wake up the fuck up from whatever you're doing that's messed up and you and he, and you start to figure out like it, it like like I love the idea that the movie like everyone has a messed up past ironically all of these people that did some serious like a heavy bird like pl place a heavy burden upon it upon their soul that's put together what that remind you of? That remind you of the devil. That was the same thing with the elevator, remember? Mm -hmm. Everybody got, everybody was, it was like a meeting. It was like the devil's meeting. Everybody was in the elevator because they all did something messed up and they didn't repent for it. So that was like the same with all these people. You know, just ironically, they all end up together on the bus. And when I said they did some real messed up stuff, I mean, these people have like sinned on a whole nother level where you just like, I see why. That is happening, and this movie is really good. I really enjoy it. It got my highest recommendation. I highly recommend this movie. Check this movie out. I'm trying to make sure I don't forget anything. I don't want to spoil this movie. Like I said, the movie is scary on a whole nother level. So don't go into this movie thinking, "Oh my god, like yeah, I could jump in this. Gonna scare me." And oh no, I'm telling y'all, the movie will scare you on a whole nother level, on a spiritual level, if you have a soul. Because some people are fucked up in this world.
and they have no soul at all. <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. And this movie definitely proves that. The killing in this movie is definitely brutal. Like, when, when, when you get dragged to hell, it's like literally having the Grim Reaper come for you and drag you to hell. And it's like, if you don't repent in that moment, because they get tested, which is that's what the part I really love about this movie. They get tested, and when they fail, that's the ass. They going down, downtown, Dugra, but they go in. No, it's not. <laughs> Check this movie out, The Massacre, a.k.a. The Windmill Massacre. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about The Windmill, a.k.a. The Windmill Massacre, because I told you what I thought about it. Like I said, the movie was perfect. It was perfectly written. Huge shout out. Huge, oh, damn, I can't even find it. Uh, huge shout out to Nick Ajongarish. Uh, Chris W. Mitchell and Susie Quid. They did an awesome job. Perfectly written. The movie was everything. I highly recommend it. Check it out. And to all my movie lovers, I love you.